Well, the volatility continues with global share markets falling once again at the end of last week. And on Friday, we saw US markets down around 2%. But the big news for the local New Zealand economy was certainly the news on Friday that some of the big sovereign credit rating agencies have downgraded New Zealand's credit rating. We did see the New Zealand dollar fall around one cent against the US dollar immediately after this announcement, so it does have a big effect on the local economy. But the real question is what this will mean for us over the medium to long term. And what we have seen in the past is that once we do start to get through this real shock, which we may see over the next couple of days, the New Zealand dollar will continue to trade at more fundamental levels. And what we have been seeing over the past couple of weeks is that the Kiwi dollar has been directly related to what's been happening overseas, particularly out of Europe, and also the fact that the global economy is really going through a soft patch at the moment. So the Kiwi dollar is under some pressure and it is likely that we will continue on this trend over the next couple of weeks. And early on Monday morning we have been feeling the pressure as a result of this downgrade but also the other international factors and we're trading just over 76 cents against the US. The fact that we are really starting to see the global economy slow down just slightly, particularly for the developed economies like the US, can't be good news for US beef markets which of course is our largest export market. Now we are starting to see a couple of things come to fold and these are some of the dynamics that we've been talking about for a couple of months now. Supplies are really starting to ramp up, mainly as a result of many cows being culled out of some of the central plains which have been drought ravaged over the past couple of months. The other factor to consider is that demand has really slowed down out of the US market. So it is starting to look a little bit more negative for prices out of the US than previously. But at the, at the moment, we are still seeing prices hold up relatively well considering the negative effects that we are seeing in the market. The good news is that the New Zealand dollar has really dropped against the US and this is likely to more than offset the negative effects we are seeing out of the US market and this should at least help to keep schedule prices up here in New Zealand.